What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Old Coin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos on the channel. So today I want to show you a quick guide on how to use gmx.io. gmx.io is a decentralized perpetual exchange that allows you to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, AVAX and more with up to 50x leverage totally decentralized, you keep your keys on your wallet. So there is no counterparty risk similar to centralized exchanges, which if they do go under, if something happens to them, you lose your money. With solutions like GMX, which are decentralized, you own your keys, which is very important in crypto. So the very first thing you should do is you should use my referral link, which is in the description of this video, because that will give you 15% off trading fees on GMX. So if you want to save some money on fees, go ahead and click that link. That will take you to the GMX website where you will be able to trade, assuming you have your MetaMask wallet connected. So if you want to trade, this will ask you to launch the GMX app. Uh, you can click the don't show this message again for 30 days if you do agree with terms and conditions. This will take you to the trading platform on GMX. On the top right corner of the page, you'll be able to connect your wallet. Go ahead and connect. For the purpose of this video, we're using MetaMask. Go ahead and click MetaMask and this will ask you to put the MetaMask password in. So go ahead and put that in. And there you go, we're connected. If your wallet is not connected to Arbitrum, there will be a pop-up on the bottom right, which will ask you to switch to Arbitrum. And once you click that, you can easily switch the network. And as you can see, we're on Arbitrum Network right now. If you want to create a position, a leverage position on GMX, it's very easy, very intuitive. So you have the pairs available on the left side. Uh, you have Ethereum, Bitcoin, Chainlink in Uni. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll be creating a position on Ethereum. If you want to go long or short, the way in which you do so is same. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be showing you how to create a short position. So you can create a limit order. A limit order is basically gonna allow you to input a price at which you want um, the position to take place. So if we were to create a very simple position, which is gonna be a short position and we want the price to be around 1115. Um, this means that if the price goes to 1115, the trade is gonna go ahead. And underneath the price, you're able to create the leverage uh, you want for that particular trade. Um, you can trade with as little as 0.1 leverage all the way up to 50x judging on your risk appetite I would say um, for the purpose of this video we're going to be doing 15x at this price and um, if you're happy with all the details that we've input here again everything is very transparent the fees are displayed right there um, the breakdown of the fees is there as well because this is a decentralized platform. So go ahead and click enable order. And this will give you a rundown on how exactly this is occurring. If you want to go ahead and accept enable orders, a MetaMask window will open up where you'll be able to confirm the transaction and orders have been sent. As you can see, the transaction completed and orders are enabled. So this will allow you to create orders right now. As you can see, the price have jumped, has jumped over 
our initial. So let's change that to 1117, create a limit order, create order, MetaMask window opens and allows you to confirm that order. So we have just placed a limit order on Ethereum to go short with 15x leverage. And right here on the left side of the panel, you'll be able to see your orders. Um, once this order fills, so once the price goes to 117 and takes that trade, this order will disappear and will pop up in the open positions. Right now we have no open positions because that order has not hit just yet. So you're able to edit your order. So for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and change this order to 1120. If you go ahead and update the order, MetaMask window pops up again, where you're able to confirm your choice. And that price should change once the transaction goes through. As you can see, it has changed. So you're also able to cancel that transaction very easily. If you hit cancel, again, same MetaMask window opens and you can go ahead and confirm. That will cancel your um, limit order. So what you can also do is create a market order. This means that whatever the price is at right now, your order will go through at that particular price. So let's go ahead and do 0 0.2 ETH with a leverage of 20X for the purpose of this video. And we will create a market order for that particular short position. So enabling leverage, short ETH, boom. Let's go ahead and short ETH. The order has been submitted. And as you can see, open positions, this is our position. You're able to close position at market price. So wherever the price is at, if you hit close, you can hit max and close that position every at every moment, wherever you decide. And this will also give you a breakdown on um, the entry price, the mark price, which is the price at right now, uh, the size of your position, PNL, which which is um, profit and loss. So right now we're at sixteen dollars loss, and it will also give you a breakdown on the fees and what you will receive if you close that particular position. Um, you can also choose to receive other assets. You don't have to end your position and receive if you can receive USDC or wherever you decide. So if we were to close that position, hit close, again, MetaMask window opens, you're able to confirm your transaction, but we're not gonna close that position just yet. We're gonna let it run. So during this video, we covered how to create a limit, a market order for short positions. You can also do exactly the same thing when it comes to longs. Um, the way in which you do so is exactly the same. You input the amounts, what you wanna use as a, as a collateral for this trade, uh, what you wanna trade, which asset you wanna trade, the amount, you can create a price when it comes to limit orders, exactly the same. And you also have the leverage slider in the exactly same fashion. So longs and shorts are created in exactly the same way. But also GMX allows you to swap between assets, ETH and USDC, for example. They have pretty thick books, so you can create those orders without much slippage. Um, so for the purpose of this video, let's create a simple swap. Let's create ETH to USDC. We're gonna swap 0.1 ETH. That should give us around 111 USDC. Um, let's go market and let's create a swap. And that swap is gonna cost us 
0.3% uh, in fees, which equals to around 33 cents right now. Uh, confirm, let's go ahead and confirm. As you can see, the swap um, stats and everything behind that swap is clearly displayed because it is a decentralized protocol, fully transparent. Go ahead and confirm. And that has created a swap, which should come up right now. As you can see, um, we've completed a swap. So that's another simple thing, uh, but sometimes it is useful. Uh, you don't have to go to Uniswap. You don't have to go to other decentralized um, exchanges to create simple swaps. Simple swaps are on GMX as well. Uh, because sometimes you don't want the need of holding Ethereum, for example, you want to go ahead and swap to USDC. You can do that in a very easy fashion. And same way of going back, you can input how much USDC you want to change for how much ETH. Go ahead and swap. Very easy and very transparent, as we said. And again, if you want to have 15% of these fees that are going to be charged when trading, use the link in the description. So to finish off the video, I want to show you something also very interesting, and that is useful links on the bottom right of the site and leaderboards. So leaderboards will take you to um, a place where there are trading contests on GMX which you can go ahead and get involved with um, and top ROI and top profit people will get a very, very healthy rewards. So as you can see, everything is on chain. So there is no cheating going on or of any sorts. You can see exactly what positions people have. So this can benefit your trading. As you can see, uh, win loss sizes, realized profits, everything is shown um, on the platform. And you can go ahead, if you were to copy some trades of people, you can go ahead and do that. You can, because this is a decentralized platform, everything is transparent. So you, you can go ahead and click on people's addresses and this will take you to their exact trades. Very transparent. There is nothing to hide. If someone is profitable and he's proven to be profitable over consecutive trades, you can just go ahead and copy their trades. Um, something that I'm gonna try and follow and maybe give you guys an update in a video or a couple of videos on how that's going. But I think following people's trade on GMX is an interesting type of content that people could see. And with the growth of the platform, I think there's gonna be many great traders that you can just go ahead and copy or just see how they do. And if you go to the dashboard on top left, this will give you some stats on the entire trading platform. These stats are something that centralized exchanges have on the back end, and they're able to see what position people are taking. They're able to see the ratio between longs and shorts. And there were cases where centralized exchanges traded against their users. But with decentralized options like GMX, everything is transparent. You as a user have a overview of exactly what's going on on the platform. As you can see, the volume is right there around 500 million volume. Uh, you can see that long positions are tiny compared to short positions right now. Uh, this is very interesting because sometimes this could be an indicator of where the price could be going. Because if there are long positions severely smaller than shorts, you can see that everyone is betting that the price is gonna go down. And in many cases, the price does totally opposite. But as you can see, there's also fees generated um, on the platform. 
since 16th November, which is around five days, you can see that around $2 million is generated in less than a week, which is very healthy when it comes to decentralized platforms. And you can also see other things like tokens in the indexes that are on GMX, but that's something for a later video. So let me know how you find GMX. Is it a trading platform that you're going to use in the future? If so, make sure you use the referral link in the description because 15% of fees is on the table. This is it for today. I will see you in the next one.